So many doctors and scientists say that running is bad for us, our knees. However, this year, I ran 300 miles or more on solid concrete barefoot, and I improved my health. So, what I'm going to explore with you is the human spring theory. Every movement that you make is powered by a miraculous spring mechanism. Once you learn how important functions it serves, how it breaks down and locks, and how it affects many aspects of your health, you will see why so many people suffer and why so many are misdiagnosed. Then I will teach you this new approach to releasing, strengthening, and supercharging this spring mechanism so that you can understand why athletes can jump and your patients cannot get out of a chair. And using this method, you can bring them from the point where they're in chronic pain and unable to get out of the chair to perhaps jumping again. What we're experiencing is a painful misunderstanding of human engineering. Unfortunately, the medical world does not evaluate the body as a spring mechanism. Consequently, we are missing some of the most important aspects of how the body moves, how it protects itself, how it recycles energy and functions in the world governed by the laws of physics, engineering, and common sense. If we do not consider the human spring mechanism, all treatments in the current standard of care, including adjustments, mobilizations, stretchings, rehab exercises, injections, medications, surgeries, are destined to fail to achieve maximum medical improvement because the entire spring mechanism is not considered. What does this mean to you? A lot of you are practicing the standard of care approach, which is working for you. However, the term maximum medical improvement may not be exactly what you're attaining without considering the human spring mechanism. 